Right, sorry people, we're back on now, um, all sorted. Uh, I had a, a block on my laptop, it wouldn't allow me to do the sort of volume out. But we're all back on now, um, hopefully all good. Oh, what a nightmare today, what a nightmare. I think this is my third attempt at setting this up. So, Good day, Justin, hello. there you go. Okay, mate, I've just had to restart it back up because... Um, I couldn't get the volume sorted, but we're back on now, so hopefully people will be on in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> or it's just me and you. Yeah, our friend's been uh, typing to me. Sorry, mate. Sorry? My friend's been typing to me. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's got quiet now. No one's coming on, oh, Steve. Go on, I have to show you all this later. <laughs> <laughs> One second, I've got to type. Uh, yeah, just waiting for people to come on. It's a bit of an awkward time of the day today because it's it's right. everybody's in the UK is working. Mm -hmm. People in Australia are sleeping. Uh, a few Thai people uh, might be yeah. awake. What's the Thai uh, time? Hang on. Uh, yeah, it's not a good time, mate. Eh? No, no. Uh, 9.30 p.m. Yet, uh, in Bangkok. Uh, uh, two thirty PM England. That's not too bad. Uh, yeah, it's not a good time. Good afternoon, hey. young man. Yeah, sorry, I had a few few issues, mate, setting up as mm. always. But we're back on now. Stephen from Thailand Unplug has joined us. Good day. Oi. We'll just wait for a couple more people to come on, and then um, we're we'll have a discussion about something. I'm thinking about mm. um, a friend of mine, Stephen. He's looking for some cheap accommodation in Bangkok in yeah. May, June. Oh, what, uh, I suppose around the Nana area, yeah? Yeah, around Asok, Nana. Yeah. So we'll, we'll just wait for a few more to come on and see what, um, yeah, sure. if anyone else comes on. I did have six people on just now, yeah. but <laughs> it Ooh. went off. Uh, yeah, it's not a good thing to do that, Justin. No, we'll see. We'll, we'll give it 10 minutes and then uh, if we don't get enough people on, then we'll call it a day, mate. I'll do one later. But uh, I've just basically been at home. Uh, I've been packing boxes all morning. Uh, that's about it, really. So I just thought I'd go mm. on and say hello. But oh, well, like let's I'm... get this discussion on the road then, eh? Um, but accommodation. Uh, some guy asked me the other day about accommodation in... Um, uh, Bangkok, right? It's the Omni Towers, yeah. The Omni Towers, hang on, let me get down. Just a second. Uh, yeah, the Omni Towers are in Soy 4. Soy 4 is now in it. You've got the Ibis Hotel, which is, uh, no, not too bad. Uh, that one's 63 bucks. So what's that? I'll get, do you want Thai Bart? Yeah, Thai Bart, yeah. I be better. Like yeah, but yeah, it'll, it'll probably be better because you know I don't understand pounds that well, and and I guess I don't know. I don't think you understand uh, the Australian dollar too well. Not We're really. Talking no. American dollars, if you wanna. Uh, so it's, it's quite bad, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's better. Fourteen hundred baht at the moment per night. That's the uh, Ivers. Okay. Oh, that's a steal, that is. Yeah, it's a, it's it's it's. A, uh, that's the Ibis. And now I went to the Omni Tower. I'll just double check that. Uh, information is going mm -hmm. in eight weeks. Staying in Soy, soy 4. Where are you staying, uh, Information? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah mate. Where are you staying? He's, he's looking for, for central Bangkok. So I said mm -hmm. to him around about Nana, uh, Asok. Uh, so staying at Sukhumvit Road, Soy 4 is Nana Plaza, isn't it? Uh, okay, this is the Omni Tower. The Omni Towers is fifty one a night. Okay, hang on, I'll get your price on that one. Uh, this is all in Australian dollars, obviously. So information is off the title. So, well, well, that one, the fifty one. This is at the peak. We're coming into peak season, right? And uh, this is fifty one a night dollar Australian dollars, which is one thousand one hundred and forty four Thai baht a night. Right. Okay. okay. Now I've yep. been to this hotel. And it is fantastic for value for money, right? 
and that one there, I mean, you got you got probably a ah uh, oh, look, you got a, it's about a, it's about a five minute walk to Nana Plaza, right? The guts of it. It's not even five minutes, uh, if you want that sort of thing, right? Uh, the, only, the only disadvantage of staying near is taxis, right? It's very hard to get a taxi, you know, because they want, um, you know, they want uh, a small deposit on the house to get you around the corner. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, cool. That's the only problem. So you have to walk out of uh, Soy Four to get anything, right? You have to get away from Soy Four. You've got to get taxi ready. But another advantage, you've got the BTS around the corner, you know. Yeah. Uh, Nana BTS. Yeah. Mm. I, uh, so I was recommended. Mm. I was recommended a cheap place um, in Asok, uh, Soy mm. Twenty One. Is that correct? Maybe I'm wrong. Soy Eighteen, Soy mm. Twenty One. Called the Honey House. Now there's two of them in that story. Honey House One, Honey House Two. Now they're only mm. charging about 700 baht a night. And apparently the rooms are really good. There's no swimming pool. Honey House. But hello, George. How you doing, mate? Yeah, we're back now, mate. Honey, Honey House Two. Took a bit Honey 22. Two. Let's have a look. Now I've seen I've seen the pictures. My friend who stayed there. Hello, Simon. How you doing, mate? Ooh. Uh, 38 bucks a night. I think he was paying, he was paying 700 baht per night. But it was just a little room, but it was, yeah, it's cleaned every day. And it downstairs, uh, downstairs in the, um, in the lounge, the lobby, uh, you had breakfast, which was basic, but bottles of beer were 50 baht. Just, coffee. I'm just looking at it now. It looks no problem. It, yeah, I mean, it's really it, nice. Oh, look, it's an old hotel. It's got old furniture in it. Uh, the rooms look clean. Uh, your TV looks very old. It's, it's 19, whatever. 720p. It's not high definition. <laughs> uh, Simon Last is asking, never stayed in Bangkok. What's the best place for nightlife? Uh, What's he done? Simon. There's lots of nightlife. Um, the main tourist place is Pat Pong and Nana. Um, but there's there's nightclubs dotted all over Bangkok. Probably probably yeah. Soy Cowboys. Uh, it's probably, uh, Justin, it's probably, um, nowadays it's uh, uh, Nana and Soy Cowboy. Uh, Soy Cowboy's just up the road from Nana. It's not, not a big walk. Uh, the rest of them, they're sort of uh, going down a hill a bit, I think. Uh, was just Pat Pong and that. Pat Pong used to be fantastic, but uh, I don't know. I think it's 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 doing itself out of business. I think the other the other two, the other two areas are uh, killing it. Everybody just talks about Nana now, but it went in and years ago. It used to be all Pat Pong, Pat Pong, Pat Pong. You know. Yeah. Do you know what? <laughs> yeah. I've never been a Pat Pong on on a night time. I've never been. I'm yeah. going to make it. Uh, Oh, look, it's fantastic. It's uh, if you get there, uh, they've got the market in the middle, in the guts of it, you know that. There's two, there's two pet, there's pet pong one and pet pong two. Well, it's just a big square, you walk around, okay. Now, pet pong two hasn't got the market, but pet pong one has the market, and uh, well, it's quite a fascinating, you know, you could sit there and have a few beers. Is uh, I didn't really go into I don't really like the go go bars, I never went into them really. I poked my head and had a look in awe and whatever, and uh. Yeah, they've got a few uh, go-go bars there and, and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it's quite good. You can sit down and have a beer. Hmm. Yeah. So Scott from Asia is saying he, he, stayed, he stayed in Honey House. Uh, was yeah. uh, 22. I used to stay there before I started renting apartments. So mm. what did you think of it, um, George? Is it, would you recommend it for somebody staying for three weeks? Because he's, he's not interested in, in um, he would prefer to have a swimming pool, but he's not that bothered. But I mean, for that price, what they're charging, I think they quoted him uh, just under 15,000 bats for 17 nights. So, Jesus, that's good. That, that's really good, actually. Let me have yeah. a look at that. Uh... Uh, George is saying, nah, 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 soy cowboy, avoid Pat Pong. Okay, mate. I've I've never been there in the evening, George. I just want to give it a try. Hmm. Yeah, look. Ah, oh, you bastards. 
you can find a night market close to Taxim Bridge. Mm. Ah, Taxim Bridge. I think that's out of business, isn't it? That market. I don't know. I've heard of it. Yeah. I've probably been there. Do you know what? See, my my memory of places is is shocking. Ah, well, who is mate? Who has got the memory? A cheap oh, guy has has just messaged me. He's still waiting. Um, oh, I'm on a different screen. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you put a link on your uh, website on, on your on your main page? I've just put it on. I know. Literally, I've just I cancelled three of them and restarted. But uh, I couldn't. I done it outside on a balcony on my mobile, but the signal was awful, so it just kept cutting out. Hmm. So that's why. So I come into the main room and put it on, but I couldn't get the volumes turned on on the laptop, so I had to come out of it all and restart hmm. again. Yeah, when, when you're doing that, Justin, it always pays if to get a network cable and run it to the um, actual laptop or whatever you're using. Yeah. Don't rely. Sure. Don't ever rely on Wi-Fi. Ah, I never do. Look, I'm connected now. I'm, I'm not using Wi-Fi. I'm using cable. I connect with cables all the time. Whenever possible, I'll connect with a cable. Well, I did, Stephen. I did buy um, extended cable a couple of, couple of days ago um, for my new place. So what I do when I set up. Yeah. In my new place, I'll just keep the cable connected in, and then I'm yeah. not going to get any issues there. Hey, you got, yeah, have you got enough room to, to take the cable to your, to your, have you got a, what do you call it, a balcony there? Yeah. Well, actually enough cable to get to the balcony, right? I, yeah, I yeah. never, no, Justin, I never use Wi-Fi, ever. Oh, okay. Really. Only if I have yeah. to, if I'm forced to use it. The problem is, the Wi-Fi here is, in the front room, it's brilliant. Here, it's good. But... When I, as soon as I go to my, my bedroom, the Wi Fi, mm. as you know, when I spoke to you a couple of times, it cuts out. Mm. Uh, Scotsman in Asia, on a budget, yes, but I think Hotel Ibis and Majestic Suit are better options. Honey House yeah. is a basic room with a fridge, but this is over 10 years ago in Honey House. Uh, okay. Mm. Mm. David Donnelly, good afternoon, young man. Good afternoon, Mike Hurst, how are you doing? Thanks for coming on. If any of you just joined, for the new people just joined us, we're talking about cheap accommodation um, in Bangkok, i.e. Central, mainly Asot, Nana, um, if any of you know any decent ones. Ideally, with a swimming pool would be good. Um, but not essential. Uh, I was chatting to a friend earlier. He's been, he's been pulling his hair out. Um, first time in Thailand. He doesn't know where to stay. So I'm trying to give him some ideas. Um, okay. You got 14 watching now, Justin. Yeah, still not many people watching, but like I said, it's a bit of an awkward time of the day. Uh, I think you're going to uh, stuff I, up, aren't you? You're going to blow something up, aren't you? Eh? You're going to blow something up, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, it's all good now. Hey, listen, guys, can you give us a thumbs up if you could? There's, there's three thumbs up for the 13 people watching. That's that way. Not that Cheers, way. Not that way. That way. Let's see how uh, we go. That's three going out. here. Okay. Mm. George is getting technical now. He's saying, I run Cat 6 for all my TVs and my access points. Yeah, Cat 6, yeah. That's the cable. That's ah, the network okay. cable. Yeah, Cat 6, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Graham Clovia, he's just popped out to the pub. Try, try the kitchen. You could do the washing up, cheeky bugger. Uh, a Scotsman in Asia. I, I run cable to everything, mate. I, I just don't. I just don't. Uh, Wi-Fi. It's just uh, Wi-Fi is great unless you, if you haven't got a wall in between you. Oh, one wall is okay. Once you get two walls, you're, just, you're out of business. You know. I like sitting on the toilet with uh, what you know, watching the internet and stuff like that. And you know, my mum thinks it's a bit sick that I run a cable into the toilet, but what's you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simon Lass, um, I can I can quote you on this one, mate. Usually from the from the airport, the standard price is five hundred baht. However, try mm. taking the um, if you can, try taking the the rail the rail uh, link. And then getting onto the BTS, it's a lot cheaper and it's a lot quicker as well. 
But I have taken a taxi many times, um, and it's 500 baht. Mm -hmm. How much from the airport to uh, Nana area? It's 500 baht. It's always been a standard Is, standard is that price. a standard thing? Yeah, it's a standard price. We're, we're, and they don't put the meter on? No. Not, not at the tell airport, eat, next time, Next time, tell them to eat shit and die. Seriously. Yeah. You should be paying about 300, 250, 300. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course, no, yeah. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. You, you're not forced to take them when you go to those cabs. So when you go into the rank, you know the ranks, okay? Yeah. Where you book your ticket. They're charging 500, are they? That's there. it, yeah. There. They're charging 500 from there. I mean, last time I took, got a taxi from the airport was about yeah. two, two, three years ago. Hmm. I, re I refuse to use them now. Holy shit. I despise oh, them. Look, when, 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 you get, when, when the next time you go there, uh, Justin, get off the bloody plane and do a, do a thing on the frigging train, where Do a proper one, you know, really film it. Show everybody how, what to do, how to get to... What's it cost to get to down on the train or in that area? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, oh, you're, oh, yeah, you're talking about the court. Yeah, it's 50, 100 baht or something, isn't it? Something like that. It, it's ridiculously cheap. Yeah. I will do and actually. The thing is, and the thing is, Justin, you get there in, what, 15 minutes or something? Is it like some ridiculous timing like that? You go by cab, it takes uh, an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Well, what I do, I know, on, my I next trip, train, yeah. hmm. on my next trip, I'll actually do a, yeah, I will do a video just to let people know how yeah. easy it is how cheap it is and how quick it is. Yeah. Um, so you, talking, you can, you can, where, where does it drop you off? I forgot now. Um, uh, pay a tie. Uh, pay a tie. Uh, that, that, that's where the train is, isn't it? Yeah, they swap over for the train and BTS is in. Uh, I think there's, if I remember, there's five stops on the rail link. Hmm. And the, the one I, I get dropped off at Pear Thai, and then I just got on the BTS from there, it's a victory monument. CCC, this is the, the real live stream, mate. <laughs> um, let's have a look at some of these. Uh, never pay 500 baht, Justin. Yeah, George, you're talking a couple of years ago now. Mm. Steve, you might be able to answer this. I'm not sure. I have, I have a old 12 core SIM card. Can I use it in 2019? Not sure what that is. Uh, Information. Yeah, well, a lot of them, uh, you buy in the card, you, you mean by size-wise, you know, the, the size of the cards. Uh, when, when you get it there, there's there's three sections in it. There's uh, the card's going to be cut into three pieces. They've got clip out. Oh, you know, yes, you go, yeah. yeah, you've seen them, haven't you? Yeah, and yeah. the actual chip chips right in the last card actually, but if you don't click it, it, it stays bigger. You can put them in an iPhone and so forth. And uh, I don't know why you'd want to use an old card though for it. Just just get out, get a new one. Uh, it? Uh, oh, you're talking about the phone. Uh, Twelve. So that's is that the really large one? Um, inf information. Put them. Yeah, the really large one. So I've still got those. You can still get them. <clears throat> Hmm. Uh, George is saying best otherwise, otherwise, sorry, Jason, hang on, Jason. Otherwise, uh, Justin, sorry, that's called you Jason. I'm sorry, mate. It won't do happen again. Um, what is your name anyway? Now, you know, what you, what you can do, you can get a little adapter for them, you know, when you're traveling. Yeah, I always, well, I've got my hmm. a, AIS, AIS SIM card, um, which I pay 600 baht a month. Now, I, I still pay that when I'm back in the UK. Now, I can cancel the internet and only pay something like 30 baht, but I don't, it's too much hassle. I just, at the end of each month, I just go onto the app, pay the 600 baht. Um, it comes, comes out of my UK account, no problem at all. So when I go back there, obviously, I've, you know, I don't have to peer around going to AIS, yeah. setting it all back up. Um, yeah, 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 that's great. Um, what do you pay a month for that? Sorry? 600 baht. Yeah, 600 baht. What do you pay to keep it going? 600 baht. I pay it every month. Oh, really? Well, yeah. I wouldn't be doing that. I could. The, the lady at the, the, the desk, she said, you know, when you go back to the UK, mm. just get take off the internet package. Yeah. But 
uh, do, do you know what? It's too much hassle, Stephen. I just it's six hundred baht. Oh, okay. It's not a lot of money. No, I so. Oh, look, Justin, it's a, it's a lot of money when you live there, you know, and and you you got to count for every dollar you spend, you know, because you, you you know uh, that's just the way it is over there. And uh, to me, I, I was paying. Uh, well, first one I got was four fifty, and that was unlimited, and it was great. For, and, and but when I travel, or I would like I travel around Thailand, I'd get the six hundred baht one like you. And Jesus Christ, was it fast? When I mean, you can watch four K movies, it works. You well, know? I don't know if you remember me telling you, Stephen, the last time I was there, I was chatting to you, and I got the 300 baht one, because the lady said to me, oh, that'd yeah, be fine, that'd yeah, be fine, yeah. but it was so slow. So I had to go back and get the 600 the, 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 baht. Believe it or not, the 300 baht one's not too bad, right? But, I mean, I mean, we use YouTube and stuff, and you watch super fast stuff, right? Of course. I mean, 300, 300 baht for a normal person, like, like watching a little bit of YouTube, uh, your Facebook, watching your Facebook and, and surfing a little bit, it's fine. But for us, you, you know, you've got to get up there. Uh, the 400 one's pretty fast and you got the 500 and then you got the 600. The, the, the more you pay, the faster you go. The 600 one's just absolutely dynamite, you know? Yeah. <sighs> hey, very, I've very quick. Uh, BT, I caught the train to Terminal 21 from the airport. Mm. It was 87 baht. Um, mm. You can't yeah. get the actual rail link to Terminal 21, can you? I'm sure you can. David Quinn, oh, how you doing, mate? Thanks for popping on. Mm. Good day, Bangkok right. Travel. There you go, mate. Uh, Chief Charlie Chronicles. Uh, can you answer that one, Stephen? Uh, Chief Charlie Chronicles. People used to talk talk a lot about Chiang Mai. No one seems to anymore. Why is that bad now? Ah, uh, well, the, they do talk about Chiang Mai. Um, it's just that a lot of tourists are going there now, and um, a lot of those tourists are backpackers, right? It's turned into a back, backpacker haven, and you know, a lot of uh, tourists going there now, they see red when they think of backpackers, they want to kill them, you know, set them on fire and stuff like that because they've got they don't wash their hair, and they don't wash. And, you know, it's like uh, Khao San Road, you know, they, they go, oh, they're going there with the backpackers, the backpackers everywhere. I thought Khao San Road was great, you know, I sat there and watched all the people. And, and yeah, some of them didn't wash, but that's okay. <laughs> they got the scruffy, they got the got the dreadlocks, you know. All the dreadlocks are ready for Shang Mai. What are we talking about? Oh yeah. So you get the guy, the guys with the dreadlocks and stuff like that in Khao San Mai. That's that's fine. I'm not. They don't bother me. But yeah, Shang Mai's getting the reputation of uh, all the dragos and the, 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 the friggin' backpackers getting there. That's all. That's all about. That's Shang, Shang Mai's great. They're so Shang Mai, actually. Maybe. Hello, it's like, did you, when you used to go down, when your mum used to send you, send you down the supermarket, did she give you a shopping list? Oh, maybe I'll send you a shopping list, what to do when you do a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> you can tick them off. <laughs> see out there, see out there. Right, yeah, okay. oh, bloody like clockwork here. <laughs> hey, listen, guys, can you give us a thumbs up? Uh, There's 21 watching. Uh, seven thumbs up, if you could. It'd be nice. Helps out a lot when you do that. No worries. Oh, no just pain. give me two minutes and we'll be back to normal. Maybe I should Need stop being technique. an asshole. I should have done it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you reading the comments? Because I'm, I'm not reading any. Okay, I'm here, I think. I think I'm here. <laughs> there you are. There you are. There you go, mate. Yeah, this is everywhere I turn. I get this Stephen character yeah. popping up in live streams. Oh yeah, my I've, God. Got to bring, I've, got, I've got to bring my assistant with me, Warren. Take notes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Warren, uh, this is my fault. Warren, I watched, uh, watched the film the other day. Look, Warren, Warren gave us a sneak preview of his latest film with his new camera. I thought it was magnificent, mate. Seriously. The improvements out of sight, the colour, the everything was spot on. I wouldn't change it, mate. It, it was, it was uh, The settings you got there are fantastic. Yeah, I was yeah, out again today. Really I predicted, we did a cruise mm. around the big sea uh, mall, uh, you know, supermarket mm. tonight in the night. So we got a nighttime footage. Mm. Uh, we'll see how this one turns out. The biggest mm. thing I've got now, right now, is how long the batteries last. I've had the other mm. camera for three years, and you mm. sort of know I can get sort of, you know, maybe 50 mm. minutes of film uh, on a battery before <laughs> the battery dies. I've got no real idea. Like, I shot 25 minutes of film for the motorcycle 
test rides last Saturday. Mm. Didn't even didn't even make a blip on the on the battery yes. limits. You know, and again, I shot twenty minutes tonight, or well, probably longer. I didn't even know how much I got tonight. Um, what so about it's the, one uh, of those things. Have you, have you tried that seven twenty p at night? Haven't done that. I'll give that a try. Be, I, I reckon that'll be amazing. Uh, it might 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 be a deal breaker. That uh, a, a real good uh, thing. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, yeah I'll, 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 I've got a whole bunch of stuff I need to be checking out with that. Uh, mm. Again, like, you know, it, it took me like probably, you know, six weeks to get used to the Philips to know all this, you know, mm. pros and cons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, not Philips, I should say Panasonic. Oh, like they say do camera. this. They, when they say do this, do that, do this, do that, just leave the frigging thing on auto. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 no, I, there, is no, there is no auto. I think auto is 4K. Mm. That's like the default settings is no. 4K. Okay, uh, but it's just... Uh, but as I said, it's a lot darker. It's got the, the, the yes, light yes, sensor yes, at night. Yes, it will do that. So, mm -hmm. um, so but you could no, I find at night, night time, if you start shut down, uh, if you go down to 720p, hmm. uh, you get more light in the camera. But I've, I've told a lot of people once before, if it's dark, don't friggin' film. It's quite simple. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's daily life in Thailand. You know, go to the yeah. go to the supermarket, hanging around, checking out you know, all the goodies. It's mm. really tough. I said tonight. I, was, I did mention the fact that just wandering through the markets there, all the bright colours for Songkran, all the bright clothing. Mm. There's right. something that's really starting to develop again. Like ever since the the, the passing of the king a couple of years ago, you know, it's just taken them two years to really get that vibrancy back in that. Yes, that's that's you know. correct. Yeah, yeah. There's still to press about the king, and you know. But uh, yeah. things now um, change. Looking up, so. Yeah, but well, a lot of places in Thailand. Uh, when I had my GoPro five, you know, they're not very good at, at in in low light. I just got used to not just don't film in dark spots, you know. You can if you're going to say something on a camera, just walk over near a light somewhere. But there's there's <laughs> big lights you can buy now. You big the big square ones. You see those, Lauren? Those big ones. Well, I, I think I this. I got this little piece. That one, yeah, yeah. You know, that, that, that was that? good, but that, that didn't last like ten minutes. All right. Where do you put the battery in that? I don't know. There's no battery. It's all built in. Oh. So it's, nice. that's one why one. it only lasts ten right. minutes. You got to charge well. it every time, but it's you know it's, it's quite bright. Go for it. Yeah. But no uh, you know that, that was a hundred and fifty baht. Mm. Yeah, it just That's stays on the disc and stays on charge. <laughs> oh, oh, look at all, all, the, all the professional YouTubers going around with their whiz bang phone. They all got those little lights, mate. And, and one thing they all do, they they don't they do avoid uh, filming in dark spots, right? Mm. And if you do think about it, you don't really have to go into a dark spot and say, oh, welcome to this vlog and blah, blah. You can get under a light and do that. Um, you know, and they have those little lights. Some of them got three or four of them. They just point them at things. They've got, the, they've got the camera here and they've got the light with the light here and they're, they're sort of filming like that. They, they use it well, all the time. We've, we've done a couple of times when Shonda just yeah. grabbed the phone and, yeah, and yeah. turned the phone bright light on, you know, and that really yep. works that, quite that, well. Even too. that helped, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so but, uh, that sounds like a wonderful camera. What else it's got? It's got uh, external microphone. Uh, it's got an external, uh, one yeah, it's got an external plug. Yeah, so you can from yeah. here you can get in there and yep. plug the external mic in here. Yep, level ear mic coming up. The um, mm. the what do you call it? Uh, the, the the shipping order came through today that it was been delivered. Mm. Oh, it's been shipped. I don't know how long it takes to get out of China and get to here. <laughs> it could be a cup of, for the lavia mic. Oh, okay. Mm. I actually ordered Did two you... different types, so I don't know which yeah. one's going to work best. Just trying to look at the specs and the amp and the and the, the resistance. And you, else. you might be able to chuck a bloody uh, wireless one on that. <laughs> well, yeah. the the socket on there, the the tech, the specs sort of say it is actually a powered mic. Right, so that's why this thing here probably didn't work because it's, you know, and the other one did. I don't know. It's just. So yeah. Warren, I've got, I've got a question for you. I'm, <laughs> I'm seriously thinking, right, about buying. I don't want high tech stuff at the moment. I'm only an amateur, but I'm seriously thinking of buying the DG, DJI Pocket. Now I know hmm. Foreigner Joe uses it all the time. That's, and that's Tim video. and Tim. Tim's and got Tim, one as yeah. well. Um, Let me say something. Warren's got an inbuilt stabilizer in the camera. 
his lens is yeah. sort of floating, right? Yeah. Now, with the DJI, you've got this big, huge thing like this. Obviously, the DJI will do a little bit better job with the stabilisation, but, I mean, you've been doing it for a while. You know how to keep your hand pretty steady. Um, I'd personally, I'd, I'd probably buy Warrens. You know. Yeah, uh, it's that, probably more expensive. Cool going. Well, without, without the extras, it's normally 16,000 bar versus 13,500 bar. But as I said, it was on special. There was seven and a half thousand baht worth of extras with it, yeah. which really made it a very competitive price against the DJI Pocket. Um, and the, film, the filming he'll get out, if you compare the two cameras, right? Uh, his and, and that DJI, I think, there's no comparison in the quality. He'll have depth of field, he'll have brilliant colours, he'll have everything. Well, I'm hoping <laughs> Tim, will, Tim will sort of hook up with me uh, on Wednesday at the motor yeah. show and we'll try to do some side by side footage. What happens uh, if we're wrong? Like, it proves you're wrong. I wouldn't go doing that. Well, we'll, 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 private, we'll privately discuss that piece of, piece of footage before we put it back in public. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Make yours black and white. <laughs> <laughs> but, but primarily, so Tim's got it. Uh, as I said, uh, Foreigner Joe's got it. And they're great cameras. And, and one of the things yeah, about the, yeah, DJI Pocket, the DJI Pocket does have face tracking with its gimbal. Right. So that's one of its pluses. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you you know you know if you're doing the whole handheld vlogging style face and camera sort of thing, it will keep you centre of the film, which is something I've already noticed. I, you know, it's it's so natural to hold the camera like this, and I'm not, I'm looking at it. I can see one side of the camera here, and I should be holding it like that. You know, there's just mm -hmm. a different something I'm not used to. Whereas mm -hmm. you know, I'm so used to seeing myself, you know, in in this camera and yeah, in yeah. that view. You know, and that's that's the other thing is how quickly three seconds I'm filming this thing mm. here when it's off is taking you know ten seconds to pair, so I mm. can't get those like instantaneous shots, which is just uh, some mm. pluses and some minuses, but ultimately I think it's a better camera. Mm. Right. The reason why oh the reason why I've got the DJI Pocket is purely because I do all my editing on my mobile phone. You just yeah. want to stick it in your pants so you look big. And, and, and I want to keep it that way because for me, it's easy to do. I don't want to yep. get into into the more technical side of doing it on a computer. So for me, that's why I, I'm I'm thinking about the DJI Pocket. Yep, so you've got this. It's got Wi-Fi. You can pair your phone to the Wi-Fi on here and you can pull the video off. Ah, okay. Interesting. Uh, there is an app that comes with it. You just get it from the App Store. Yeah. Um, and you can do... <laughs> There is actually an editing suite from Sony as well. I haven't put that on the phone because I don't edit on the phone. But there is an editing suite as well. Uh, I'd have to go and find all the documentation, which is completely all over the place. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, oh God. And I'll look it up. Do right, they do it in pink? It's what? Do they do it in pink? I don't know. So no, no, there's a white or a black. And actually, they didn't have the black version, but I believe it comes in black. So the editing suite is called Action Cam Movie Creator. It's also available on the App Store. Bangkok Travel, it was uh, 1,600 baht, uh, 16,000 baht was the price of the camera with 7,500 baht worth of extras. And I was actually going to make a point of that in the, in the uh, next video, which is a review video where I put it side by side against the Panasonic. Mm. Um, but uh, again, it's just one of those weird ones, you know, you're trying to compare apples with oranges. Uh, Thailand doesn't do discounts. I don't know if there's something that you've really ever come across here in Thailand. They just don't discount. Like retail stores are just so reluctant to discount everything. You can't even buy an off-the-shelf second. They won't do it. It's bizarre. But they quite happily give you 7,500 baht of extras <laughs> that have been approved by Sony. Uh, did you watch YouTube uh, Ladyboy's Tiffany's Cabaret show in Patea outside the theatre? 
No. I did a video. I did a video when I went down there, saw it, saw it live one time. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in my private library of, of the Tiffany show, but uh, unfortunately it's copyright protected, so I can't put it up anywhere. <laughs> Do you know what, Warren? Actually, I was watching, I went back and I was watching some of your videos from nine years ago when Shania was doing the cabaret. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was watching some of them back um, a couple of weeks ago, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. They're yeah. all hidden. They're, they're, they're only for membership and for special guests like yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. I've, I've said I'm oh. special. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you're, just, you're, you're extra special. <laughs> there you are. Oh, yeah. Stephen's, Stephen's extra, extra special. Uh, yes. oh, there was, uh, Simon Dip asked a second. There was a second part to that question. I only looked at the first half. Internet service provider. That's going to be a real mm. difficult one. It's going to be very specific to where you are. Um, mm. 3 bb services our area or our suburb mm -hmm. extremely well. I've mm -hmm. virtually never had a problem with it. Uh, mm -hmm. I am on fiber and it's sort of 750 baht with tax uh, for mm -hmm. my stream, which is 100 meg download, 30 meg upload, oh, no, volume, no volume limits. Um, but uh, when you were over on the other side of the city, you were at AIS, weren't you? Yeah, I, 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 AIS was very good. Uh, AIS is the fastest you can get, but it's the most mm. expensive. And uh, mm. if I was did have a choice, now I'd take 3BB. Hands down. Better, much better value. Uh, yeah, if you so want super fast, yeah, you've got to pay AIS. But AIS gets, they're, they're very fast, actually. So you got AIS and you've got AIS mm. to do bundle deals and true, uh, mm. true are all about being true and have all their extra bits and pieces. Three BB do one thing and one thing only, they do internet. That's it. Mm. Uh, they don't, there's nothing flashy with channels and supporting ad, this and doing that and you know, t t TV package deals. No, they just supply mm. internet and they do it yeah. extremely well. Mm. So. But again, it's going to G'day, be very specific. Stephen, Monash, there you go, mate. Jeez, it's 2.30 here in Melbourne. Well, in Australia, sorry. I'm not even in Melbourne. Uh, Hello, Stephen Monash, how you doing? Where are we at? Uh, oh, the way you do this, Stephen Monash. Say it again, Monash. Monash. Steve, have you ever called Stephen Monash before? It's Monash. Stephen Monash. No, it's my ass, you Tommy. Something wrong with you. <laughs> no, that's how we talk in, in England, in Wiltshire. I've got a Wiltshire okay. accent. No, that's how you <laughs> talk. <laughs> it's a farmer's accent, okay? Monash. All right, it's going to be Stephen Monash. Monash. From now on. Yeah, we need Monash. Yeah. <laughs> Cooked, eaten, washed up. What about, good... what about Steve? What about Stephen Monash? Monarch. Yeah, go and call him now. I bet you punches in the face. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, anyone got any questions for myself or Stephen or Warren? Far ahead. Um, obviously, you all know Warren and Stephen got a wealth of experience living in Thailand. Yeah. So, uh, we're we're in Stephen. Speak to Stephen. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. No, I said we're idiots. We're idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Just Steve, to say, what, what do you say, Monaz? You can go on, say it again. What do you say, Monaz? Steve, Steve Monaz. Monaz. Monash. Monash. Okay. St Stephen's just hung up and gone now. See that? Has he? <laughs> oh, he, he did have. He did have a class on the night. <laughs> oh no, he left your thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he did tell me earlier he's got a class on the night he's got uh -huh. overtime and got in a class on the night i believe he's got a class on the morrow night as well yeah um, yeah but well, he's just trying to save up for his next trip to trip to bangkok and to thailand yeah. it all helps uh george my i've done all my packing mate um i'm moving out this thursday so i moved to my new place this thursday so all going well um yeah, Thursday morning I should be in. But all done. Car's all been loaded. <laughs> uh, you are funny, guys. Information. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> we've got we've got to let the old boy on every now and again. He enjoys the entertainment. So I'm still trying to work out what days I should do my live streaming on. 
Mm. Yeah. I can't, I can never plan mine because, well, I can never say I have a set date purely because of my shifts. No, oh, wait, well, me, me and John were doing them when we felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the thing? So, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, Warren, if you book it in sometimes, you just do not feel like doing it, yeah? And, um, there was a couple of times I didn't want to do it at all. Uh, you know, it was a couple of times. John, John had come in with anger. We didn't want to do it. And, uh, you know, so we started doing these surprise attacks. We were full of you know, bubbly and, uh, you know, sort of wanted to talk. I, uh, and it just jumped on. It was, they were great. But uh, booking them in there has got ears on it. But sometimes you have to do that, don't you? Well, again, it uh, comes down to this thing here. We came to Thailand to retire, and as soon as you start to say, I'm going yeah. to do a live stream here on Friday night at 7 p.m. Mm. and Monday morning yeah. at 10 a.m., no, I don't like it, more. it feels, feels like a job. Yeah, it does. Oh, not so much a job. Sometimes you just don't feel like talk. Sometimes you just don't feel like talking, you know? Like, like and then, Justin's and then doing again, right now. And then the times <laughs> that I thought about doing a live stream... Right, I've got Bangkok Travels yeah. doing one, or or Justin yeah. Justin's doing one, or Super <laughs> Horse doing one, and you know, and I you, know, you, know, don't I want to, you just don't want to steal the thunder, so or steal the viewers. I know Stephen, some people will. Uh, Stephen Monash, um, if I were to start a channel, guys, he did it again. Do... Say that again. Monash. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Gosh, <laughs> If I, were to start a channel, if I were to start a channel, guys, any ideas for a name or what to do? So far, I have four subs. Not sure where from. From, um, I don't know, Mr. Monash. How about that? Monash. 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 Yeah. <laughs> well, again, this is what this is a topic that's, that's, come a, up that's a lot. straight from Monash. Here, Stephen. Yeah, I got that. This topic has come up quite a lot in the past as well. I've always kept my channel just my name because it's yeah. like an ownership thing, right? Yeah. If I wanted, if I wanted to do something about computing or about, you know, like uh, do something like, um, you know, oh, it doesn't matter. You can do just about anything. It's my channel, my name. Um, but then again, if you, you know, you want to have a specific topic channel, then you're going to lock yourself into a topic, aren't you? Uh, I would just stay, leave the channel name. You, it's you, the Stephen Monash. He needs to have a Facebook profile image first. <laughs> what, did you, what did you call him then? <laughs> Monash. You'll be on my Facebook next. Give me a stick. With the immigration, I think you said the government requires you to have 500 baht in your wallet. Does that mean you need 500 baht on you at all times while you're in Thailand? No. What, what did you say? What was that again, sorry? Uh, Carl Farrell. No, but there was there was oh. this issue last year, especially when they were cracking down on immigration. If you, if they suspected you were coming into the Thailand, if, it's just like one of those sort of things. If you look like somebody who's conning people, they will ask to see 20,000 baht in your wallet when mm -hmm. you're going through the gate, right? That's right. Um, but again, it was it's their option to ask, right, yeah. if you look suspicious. <sighs> like if you look like somebody who's yeah. abusing the, the visa system, they will yeah. they will demand to see 20,000 baht before you left in the country. And you cannot show them any receipts. You have to go and get the cash. <laughs> yep, and it's not easy to find the ATMs on the inside yep. of the terminal. Yes, it's there is a couple. Good. You know, there was a couple of them. Yeah, I think on the left, on sort of the bottom aisle of C and bottom aisle of E, I think <laughs> there was a couple, a couple of ATMs mm. uh, on the on the dog leg where you've got the travelators. Yeah. But that's about where you'll find them. You won't find them anywhere else. So, it's, you know, if you get to the immigration, you've got to walk back another 500 yards to get an ATM. So you've lost your place in the queue. Mm. Oh, my God. But I've never, I've never had anybody been asked about having 500 baht in your wallet. That sounds like a scam to me. Uh, I, so. I like that one. Lord Monas does Asia. <laughs> Go golfing. Monas et toi. <laughs> yeah. Have any of you guys ever lost your card in an ATM? Well, I wouldn't like to do that in 
I've forgotten my ATM card once. I think it was 2007. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think I was in Ceylon, took the money out, grabbed, grabbed the money, and because of the fact that it comes out, the card comes out after they give you money, I completely just was not on my mind. Had my money, I'm <laughs> off again. Um, mm. Yeah, uh, it, it swallowed my card. I just told my bank when I got back home because I always carry two cards anyway, so it wasn't a big right. deal. But um, Leave one card in your hotel room and take the other one with you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I lost one once. It was exactly the same problem with uh, Warren. They, they, uh, in, in Australia, I think you take your money first, then your card. What is that? I can't remember. No, you take your card. And no, you take your card, card, then you take your money. Now, in Thailand, you take your money, then you take your card. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's back to front. So naturally, us Aussies are just taking, uh, you know, uh, taking the money and thinking, oh, we've already got our card in there. I've lost about four of them that way. Mm. And it's just back to front. I, uh, the last one I lost, um, oh, it was only a couple of seconds. I ran back to try and get it, and uh, somebody put a card in, uh, and it automatically swallows it. And if you try to get your... Now, <clears throat> this is the thing in Thailand. If you try to get your card back, they're not going to give it to you, okay? No. They destroy them cards. They... You can wait around the uh, 7-Eleven if you want for the guy to get there. He'll still destroy the card. He's just not going to give it to you. Okay? Yeah. So if you've got one card in Thailand and you lose that card, you're stuck, virtually. You yep. better ring up mummy and daddy and tell them to send you some money. I actually, uh, when I first got there, uh, sort of uh, nine years ago, I did lose one card and, and they um, carried on about uh, giving it back. And I, I went to their, uh, where they had it and got it off them and they uh, I went right off my tits at them, seriously. I told them, I called them all the names under the sun and, you know. But, well, you, you know, if you, lose, so your, if you lose your, huh? How much, no, how, much space did you, how, how much space did you lose that day? Yeah, I know. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> no, well, I, ended up getting it back. I ended up getting it back, Warren, but the, the, the next one I lost is no, you know, I, I you know, I, all the talking under the, under the sun would have got the card back and there's no way they were going to give it back and I lost it. So another, you thing people, in Thailand, yeah, another thing you can think about doing, though, is um, <laughs> if you've got a special person you see over here, set up an, uh, a PayPal yeah. for them. Set them up a PayPal account, link it to their bank account, uh, and just say, look, this is an emergency. If something really goes wrong, I can transfer money from my PayPal to your PayPal, and you can yeah. cover the expenses. Uh, that's another little, little tip that somebody might want to try and do or if you find that useful. Um, mm. PayPal, it's a little bit extra charge involved, but it's a handy thing. It's outside the banking system. And it works. No, it's just ways in, look, I, I was stuck in, well, might as well tell you, I was stuck in friggin' Burma for, um, I, I did leave Burma actually, because uh, I had no money. To, I couldn't get any money across. And this is going back sort of all those eight, nine years ago. They didn't, they weren't real, real hot with the uh, ATMs. Mm. So I've arrived in that country and went to put my card in there. It doesn't work. <laughs> And I've got about a thousand baht over here and I'm going to stay there for a couple of weeks. Whoa, shit, I could not get any money. You know, I couldn't you know, phone up one of my daughters because it would have taken three or four days to get any money there at all. There was no way. I, I had thousands and thousands of dollars in the bank, you know. There was no way I could get any money because of that. And I had to get out. I had to leave the country because of it. Uh, oh. but that, that's another thing you got to look at, you know. You, you know there's lots of... Emergency money overseas. I mean, yeah, it's not not. Don't ever go overseas with one card. It's just suicidal. <sighs> if you lose one, you're gone. Well, I've I've got a bank. I, I bank with Bangkok Bank now in obviously in Thailand. Um, well, I've only got one card, but it it, it might be on my next trip. I go in and ask for a second card. Hmm. Hmm. That'll cost you another thousand baht, won't it? <laughs> no, I only paid. Uh, well, when I originally opened the bank, it cost me 300 baht. Right? Uh, and despite what everyone says, they, they chuck all this insurance at you. Yeah? Hmm. That's a load of nonsense. I went in, yeah, they no. didn't, they, they, they mentioned it once, and I said, uh, no, uh, it. When I went in I, to upgrade, when I went in to upgrade to a MasterCard, I had to pay, uh, it was either 100 baht or 200 baht just to upgrade. Uh, but, you know, they didn't, they didn't offer me, they weren't chucking insurance at me or nothing. Yeah, I know. It's uh, like nine years ago when I, when I had no trouble at all. Just went and opened it up, no problem, no passport. Oh, yeah, I had to show my passport. There was no visa and there was no nothing and no problem at all. But now, I don't know, they want to give you a cavity search now, don't they? Oh, well, that's yeah, not yeah. a good idea, Simon, last year. Keep a $100 note on you. 
uh, US currency or Australian currency. But again, you've got to watch out. If that gets damaged or tethered, you know, in your wallet for being there for so long. Yeah, that, that happened. Be, they, they, won't, they won't take it. It's got to be freaking yeah. pristine. Yep. Um, so it's another. It's a, it's a plus, but it's a minus as well. Just, uh, just make sure you carry two of them. The emergency, getting emergency money overseas, Warren. Yes, it's um, it's a thing. You, you got uh, what do you got? Western Union and all that sort of stuff. But it, look, if you're stuck in a country with not one cracker on you, and you've got to face in a hotel bill, and uh, you know, it, it can be a daunting task to get some money sometimes. I don't well, know what that, the answer that, would that, be. That, 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 pay, that, PayPal, I mean, yeah, Warren, PayPal would come for a couple of days. So, you know, you know, that, that's, that's there's only so many money. rubbish. Yeah. It's a couple of hundred dollars US there. The that's always good. Ring. But that's it. So that, that's it. It's, 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 yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good actually. idea, actually. I'll, go, uh, go, I'll travel with you next time. You can sell your ring. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That was seven thousand baht, so it's 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 a, it, it's it's good. It's yeah. gold, you know. It's twenty four carat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and again, I got two earrings that I've got as well. That'll be another four thousand baht. Um, it's all good legal tender, and they'll give you cash for it. Uh, no, no, of Thailand. Yeah. You understand about Western Union? I understand that, mate. We're talking about emergency money, like uh, you haven't got a cracker on you. You know, and you're stuck in a country with no money. That, that's what I was saying, Western Union and stuff like that. But I, I mean, Western Union takes a day or something. I think I'm not. Don't believe. I, I'll believe. What's the fastest way to do it? I mean, PayPal will take a day or so, won't it, Warren? Then you got to get it uh, out. Uh, well, how, do you, no, how do you get it out? It takes three days to get it out. Yes, mm. right. In Thailand, yeah, it takes three days. But, so the, uh, what, what the point is is how do you get emergency money overseas? Like, uh, in a few hours. Well, you can't. You can't get it out. 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 You Sell your yeah. ring. Sell your yeah. gold ring. Right. Yeah. Sell your, not the brown ring, okay. <laughs> uh, moving right along. Then I'll come back. Yeah, then I'll come back. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come back. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a good okay. idea, Steve. So I got, I got, I got mine tattooed on across before here. I have to have, have to have it removed. I lost a few, but I was doing it that way. Oh, you heard about the scam where the two girls are in the in the car park out in the supermarket, right? One of them, one of them, sort of, you know, says she's lost something, and you know, then mm. she steals your wallet, and you know, after she gives you a head job, you know, I've lost ten wallets that way. Yeah, you just keep losing the same wallet, don't you? You keep going back to say, it "Was here." Yeah. I was one special in the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I don't know. Look, I don't know the words of that joke. I've got to go find it. It's a classic joke. I love it. <laughs> Well, Steve West has just got back from uh, a few weeks in Pattaya. Yeah. Has he? Well, uh, yeah. I, I know. I'm pretty. I'm sort of followed him on Facebook. I didn't see any posts. Yeah, he's a butcher in the UK. He's a butcher. He's always putting pictures of his meat up on Facebook. Oh. Warren, show him your ring. <laughs> <laughs> Ring, a ring, okay. It's it's just an ornamental ring. You can get them from the, the goldsmith. <laughs> One for each finger, so you got you know you can stay in for, stay in Thailand for a month with, with four rings on each finger. Uh, no, it's Thailand. Last year I wired eight hundred euros to my brother. He withdrew it and lodged it via Western Union for me, and it was available for collection an hour later. What's that? Can I edit it again. You see it? Nile in Thailand. Uh, yeah, I bet you are, Steve. I bet you are, mate. That's Jesus the worst Christ. part of the, the worst part that, of the you, holiday. You read that word? Uh, Nile said he uh, wired it and uh, how many hours later? Keeps moving. I can't read it. Well, yes, uh, but when I do transfers uh, from uh, bank to bank, from uh, oh, transfer-wise, uh, I'm usually mm. I see the bank. I, mean, I see the money in my bank the next day from transfer. <coughs> yeah. As long as it's under that limit, I well, really do. Uh, well, that's how you know there, Warren. At Western Union, oh, it is Western Union, and he's talking about. Uh, you can get it within an hour. That that's excellent. So you can get emergency yeah. money. But, uh, but when, when I was in Burr, I don't even think Western Union was there. I thought they were quite heavy on charges, Western Union. Oh, doesn't really matter when you have got nothing to eat and nowhere to sleep. Yeah. Uh, but again, gold, I'll, I'll, I'll stick by it. Gold you keep is, going about that ring, don't you? 
<laughs> gold, gold, gold. I'm going a bit gold. You can have nuggets, gold nuggets. But, uh, green's nice and easy, you know. Gold chains, they tend to rip them off your, off your, when you're going through part of your streets, you know. Whereas the rings, have to cut your finger off to get them off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, true right now. He's saying he's saying basically you're buggered if it happens on a bank holiday weekend. <coughs> yeah. Gold shops nah, and shops are open seven days. Time though, isn't it? Well, I, I, I think, think Warren's got a good idea with the ring, uh, the gold ring, and copper sweet. You can, I suppose you could buy it back after you got your money later. A little, little bit of interest. Yeah. Can you do it in Thailand? Can you buy it back? I suppose. Well, so. What they do in Thailand, this is what Shonya does. She's always changing the belt. Like I bought bought her one bracelet, and it was mm. about what thirty thousand baht. Uh, I think it's mm. about one and a half baht of gold or something. And she's always changing it. She'll take it in there, and she'll you know cost her about mm. three hundred baht to change the style. It's still mm. it's still one and a half baht with a gold, um, and. Just it beats me. Like I bought you something as a gift, and you keep on changing the style. It wasn't it good enough the first time? <laughs> mm. Warren, but, my partner does exactly the same. She does exactly the same. It's, it's weird. Like seriously, yeah. it's weird. Like, she, keep, she keeps just saying, "Why don't you get a new ring? Why don't, why don't I change it?" I says, "I like this design. It's cool." And I can turn it around back to front. It looks like a wedding ring, you know, so I don't get hassled. <laughs> Yeah, Throw whatever, it out. Shut, sell that, Warren. Get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> every time I go, it's a, oh, love, let's have a look in the gold shop. And then mm -hmm. you pay 500 baht more or whatever, and she get a different design. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. it's, it is. It's, 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 it's a craziest thing. It really is. Uh, Stephen Mullard, shall I have several thousand stuck on a cash card? Again. Have to deal with Indian call centre. Still cannot get my money back. Forget my pin. <laughs> Gold is fungible, Wazza. Fungible. That's it. Fungible. Wazza. Fun. fun uh, yeah. Fungible. Fungible is the way it's pronounced. I'm pretty sure. Can you correct me on that one, Stephen? You're the English professor. What is it? No, <laughs> not you, Stephen. You you can't spell English, Stephen. Oh, I can't. Uh, what is <laughs> he's, it? He's, what is he's it? A teacher. <laughs> Hey, Google, what does fungible mean? Here's the definition of fungible. Of goods contracted for without an individual specimen being specified, replaceable by another identical item, mutually interchangeable. Fungible. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Close enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, means good as cash. Ah, okay. All right. All right. Hey Google, what is stupid? Said that. <laughs> this is the definition of stupid. Having or showing a great lack of intelligence or common sense. <laughs> Examples, <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> what? Why yeah, do yeah, Aussies yeah. Have shorten words? Go on, there's this one there for you. Like, ask her, yeah. why do Aussies always shorten shorten their words? Hey Google, why do Aussies always sh shorten their words? On the website nomadsworld.com, they say, this is because for some weird reason Australians like to shorten every word and then add a vowel to the end of it, e.g. bottle o, servo. Oddly though, some of these words end up being longer than they were originally. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I love that. We've got, we've, 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 got, we've got a ring in on the live stream. Sorry, I don't understand. I don't understand. No. Okay. What colour undies you got on? What colour undies hey, you Google, got on? Hey, Google, what colour undies you got on? Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh. Hey, Google, <laughs> do you have undies on? <laughs> Lana King, I've heard all Google boxes are collecting all your conversations 24-7. Mm, <laughs> They are always uh, they are always listening anyway because the listening device never turns off. That's right. Yeah, we're all getting spied on it. You know, when you when you we finish this live stream, is your camera really off? Is it really switched off? You know, when you're watching all those blue movies and the whole world's watching what you're doing while you're doing movies. <laughs> 
then you got this little thing you listen to what you're groaning and you know <laughs> jesus christ Right. Okay, gentlemen, I'm going to wrap this up then. Um, thanks to everybody for their input. Thanks to Stephen and Warren for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having us on, Justin. And I'll all see right, you all soon. Mm -hmm. Cheers, gentlemen. <laughs> Bye for now. <coughs> Steve, what else you not Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. My mouse is not working. I can't cut it off. Oh, there we, we go. go.